Hello everybody, welcome to another music theory tutorial video. So today we'll look at ledger lines on bass clef, focusing on the lower notes. Again, check out a full list of uh, music theory tutorial videos at raisinkongmusic.com. So let's get to the lesson. Again, if we want to go way below a clef, and in this case a bass clef, we can add ledger lines. So I'm just extra lines on the uh, bass clef. The way I go about memorizing these notes is I'll write out three lines and they form a nice A minor triad. All right, A C E A C E. So uh, that's it, very simple. We'll do some exercise in a minute, but let's figure out the rest of the notes around this area. So um, the first one here, okay, so this should be an F, right? Because it's one step above the E note. It's also one step below G, just as a quick, quick reminder. This one is your D, because it's one step below your E note. This one is your B. It's one step below your C. And this one is your G. It's one step below your A note. You can go one line down more so this one would be your F and uh, if you add it here to complete the picture they can form an F major 7 chord here okay so if you are a jazz player already then uh, probably you should go ahead with and memorize this one and uh, let's go even lower so that should be your um your E note because uh, that's your um that's one step below the F note here. So um, that's your um, notes around this area, really low. All right, so let's work out some exercise. Let me zoom in a little bit. And uh, all right, so ready? So the first one, let's uh, draw the notes on the uh, Ledger lines, of course. Okay, so let's apply the uh, formula. So A, so it's on the line A C E. All right, so that's your A. Okay, D now. D seems to be uh, just around the C note, right? So I would go to C mentally first, and uh, C D. All right, so that should be your D. But uh, to make it better, look better, you should just do this. Right, so that's your D now, okay? So there's no need for this line here. F. So probably we have more than one option here. So that's your first F, because that's one step above the E here. All right. And it's also one step below the uh, G note here. So good point, that's fine always. Just a quick, quick reminder. I think we got another F way down there, right? So let's go ahead and just write out the uh, draw the lines anyway. So we got three basic ones, A, C, E. Let's go one more. So F, A, C, E, that's right. another F, okay? They're both Fs, but an octave apart. B, so B is one step below the C, you know, so we would need the line, the C line, and then go below it. G. What about G? A, C, E. So first of all, first thing that comes to mind, it's pretty close to A, right? It's just one step away from A. So that one is your A, and this one should be your G. That's your A, A, C, E, A. F again. Good practice. Repetition is your friend. So one more time. So F. Let me go four lines down. And another F. C, let's do this quickly. C, second line, right? E. Um, G, so again, you get your A here. All right. F, and another F. That's your F. E, that's your E. All right. So if you want to go way below, so um, we can do it. That's your F, right? So this one's your E. All 
all right f on the line e the one below the f all right so that's your first exercise let's do another one let's do the reverse let's name the notes okay ready here we go all right so a um here so a c sorry i mean a c e that's your c all right this one is your a this one one step below the e so that should be your d this one one step below your c so it should be a b this one should be your f once it's one step below the uh, g note here it's also one step above the e line a c e this one is your b this one is your f remember you can go f a c e and uh, this one is your f okay one step below f that would be your e right finally your c note okay so that should be uh that should be it okay again repeat these exercises till you don't have to uh, think too much about these till they become just automatic so um that should conclude this part of the uh, music theory tutorial series so this is uh, i believe the end of part one okay so the next part should be intervals um and uh again check out racingcommusic.com for a full list okay so i see you i'll see you in the next video